What up, family? Get to support the mayor, dad, swing the mayor to lead. Today is June 17th, Freaky Friday in my city, Chicago. I'm at um, 1335 East 75th Street. I just want people to know that nothing happens in this world by mistake. Back in the day, you know, I came to live with my foster parents, the Redmonds. My um, caseworker pulled it up right here. It's a flight of stairs you go up on the uh, second floor is where we resided at at the age of six. Now, I had uh, taken $10 from my foster mother, Betty Jean Redman, pocketbook. When I was a little girl, I used to like candy. You understand what I'm saying? That's when penny candy was a penny. You get 100 pieces for... Uh, a dollar and the first time i had stole some money out of my foster mother's pocketbook i thought it was a dollar but it was a hundred dollars and i tried to uh put the hundred dollars back and i got caught trying to steal a dollar trying to put the hundred dollars back you know what i'm saying she woke up with my ass like i had stole the hundred dollars when i was trying to put it back and get a dollar so that's why I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. I bet these people over here definitely know what time it is. You understand what I'm saying? Now, long story short, I had taken $10 the second time. I was like, I ain't putting this back. And then I went around to the uh, garage. We was going on a little family outing or whatever and stuff. And I dropped it on the ground, put my, I said, ooh, look what I found. Now, you know, when I got older, I threw that money back. But this door was not, you know, you know, on here. This, this white door is the same door that's uh, on my door, 1335 East 75th Street. I mean, my fault. 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, 06637, apartment 308. Now, the other door that was on here, they replaced this door. I don't know why. You understand what I'm saying? But I made sure I threw the $10 back because it, it was another door, and I slipped it through the little mail crack or whatever because I don't want people, you know, saying, you know, I'm a thief or whatever, and I'm trying to clean up my act, right? But a gift is a, from God and a surprise to kill you. And I want to know why. This motherfucker door is the same color as my door. You understand what I'm saying? Where I reside at. You understand? Real talk. It's got the cross on it and everything. But I don't have a peephole. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. It's white though, as you can see. You understand? I wish I could open up this gate. For real. Listen, I would ring the bell. I ain't scared. Let's see what happened. Real talk. I believe this was my family building and it was taken over by intruders, invaders, and things of that nature. Now, Harriet Tubman picture used to be right here, over here. They put this lady right here. You know what I'm saying? Can you see her? She holding a basketball. This used to be Harriet Tubman. You see the black and yellow shoes and stuff? You understand? See, they trying to discredit me and my uh, and my story. Yeah, still saying, but this is where the originator of rap happened for me. I became the originator of rap music at the age of eight, 1975 at 1335 East 75th Street. This honest guy is true. Caught a lot of hell, but yeah, you see, 1335. This was a you know store. Uh, I think like a candy store or something. It's changed so many times or whatever. But it says so fine, ethnic, you know, design or whatever. So, you know, it probably sold, you know, it's, it's, it's been some of everything. Let's put it like that. But yeah. Now, let's talk about from one white slave plantation older to another. Now, it's not Harriet Tubman, but you could tell 
you know, they still got some remnants of whatever. But they trying to discredit me, Harriet Tubman, you know what I'm saying? Oprah Winfrey. And, you know, a lot of African stuff. So I used to come in and out for the most part on this side right here. Now, you can still throw some mail that way. But the it won't get the people on that side. And that's the side that's separate, you know, from these people. So if you're going to throw some money back, don't throw it there if you got if you are Mary Mac or Mile trying to clear your conscience or whatever. Because they won't get it. You understand what I'm saying? The right people won't get it. Now, this used to have a... Uh, ooh, I'm glad this mug opened. You see this say, Bussing Out, Praising an Awesome God. Juneteenth. Now, that used to have African colors on it. You understand what I'm saying? This garage is where I got stung by a bunch of bees when I was younger. Real talk. And that's why Lil King, Lil Kim say, you know, one of you fucking with the beehive, huh? Or whatever and stuff. All about the Benjamins. Now, it's a danger keep out now up there is where i had a cat by the name of patsy you know and i was being violated so much i took it out on my cat pet patsy now you see where the black doe is up there i would pick patsy up the cat and drop her bam and run down them stairs and before patsy could get her composure I would run back up the stairs and drop her again because I was going through so much pain. Now, there's a lot of people in pain, real talk, and Patsy didn't deserve it. You understand? And the only one I'm really trying to make amends to is my pet cat, Patsy. And I, if Patsy forgave me, I believe everybody else can too, but I was a little girl at the time. I was going through a whole bunch. I had got violated by five guys not too far from here at a gas station. You understand what I'm saying? They, they have since rearranged. You know, I was going through a whole bunch, believe me. And just like God put, um, when, when, um, when, well, in the Bible, when they was going to sacrifice Isaac, or Abraham was going to, I think was it Abraham going to sacrifice Isaac and it was a ram in the bush. I believe God used Patsy because I would have hurt. I tried to commit suicide when I was here. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. You know, I went through a whole bunch. So nothing happens in this world by mistake. And I'm glad these people are open. Don't come in here, take nothing and stuff for real. You understand what I'm saying? A gift was from God. And a surprise of kill. Yeah, I will not steal nothing. But I'm glad they open so I can give you a visual. You understand what I'm saying? What I was going through. Real talk. But yeah. This is where the originator rap happened for me. You understand what I'm saying? I had to get a lot off my chest and somebody must have, uh, you know, felt me. For real. Somebody knew my story. These neighbors know something. You understand what I'm saying? Like that lady over there. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, this year, we was on our way going out to the store or something, and I dropped the $10 right here and say, we the people for the people, right? On the back of the 10, we the people. And I dropped it about right here. I said, ooh, I found $10. <laughs> but literally, I had taken it from my um, foster mother and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, just being a little rebellious or whatever just acting out trying to um figure things out you know so father's day is coming up i know everybody's been through some things but i'm hoping maybe one day we can get it right this time because i'm still a decent person you understand we all make mistakes and if uh um, how your power can forgive me and pastor can forgive me and i can forgive you you can forgive yourself and maybe 
it could be a safe passage for real. You know what I'm saying? We have to bridge the gap and stop throwing one another under the bus. You understand? Everybody had to play a role to get me where I'm at today, you know? And I know it's harder than it was back in the day, but it could be a lot worse. You understand what I'm saying? And if you get a chance to make up for your mistakes, you understand what I'm saying, real talk? That should be my picture though, for real. If they gonna have a ball in their hand, you understand what I'm saying? That's a little jazzy old lady and stuff. But yeah, this is uh, hey, they 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 pumping that Juneteenth and stuff. You understand? My ex girlfriend Donna Marie Evans, the Italian stallion, the real estate agent Baker, and a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> you know, her birthday fall on Juneteenth and um, Father's Day. You know. I like to think I had something to do with that. Yeah, but Fats used to live right down the street. One of the guys that violated me, uh, sister, she and I was friends or whatever, but her brother was one of the guys that violated me. Real talk. You know, it was a game banger. You know, maybe if he wasn't there, you understand what I'm saying? I may have ended up dead. You never know. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe the sheer fact that I did know her is the reason why I'm still alive. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody else probably could have ended up dead. I'm just saying, it, it's not a good thing, but I'm still alive. A lot of people didn't live to tell the you know, whole story or whatever and stuff. So, you know. I want to get out of Chicago because I don't feel appreciated. But for the most part, I just need a damn vacation. That's the honest to God's truth. So I just wanted to show y'all that door is the same as, uh, you know, I like to think and I like to say this and I believe this to be so Gordy's barbershop used to be a part of that building. I know that's what it was. And they moved it down the street. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. That's what happened. Trying to discredit me. Trying to act like I don't know. I went to James Madison uh, Grammar School for a couple of months. They put me in a slow class. That's where I got hit in the face with a snowball. And, you know, my foster mother had told me if somebody hits you, pick up the first thing you see and hit them back. I believe it was a setup because she knew I was going to be somebody for real, for real. You know, old people be hating on the younger people. It happens. But this is Gordy's Barbershop, and I believe this is Gordy from, you know, the record company. Yeah. Barry Gordy. I believe this got something to do with him. Real talk. I believe that. You know what I'm saying? Because you see what this say? 1335 East 75th Street. But 1335 is down there. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. You understand what I'm saying? He was down there. And they moved it down here because I remember going in the barbershop in about at 96 or something like that, asking about my foster parents and stuff. And then eventually I went down to Mississippi, you know, to see them or whatever and stuff. Yep. People trying to, you know, act like my story ain't real, but I, it is real. I can barely believe it. But the neighborhood has desperately changed. All right, family, step your game up. Nothing happened in this world by mistake. All right? Peace.